What is up? What's up? Holy moly, that was rough. Hopefully you guys can hear me and see me now. <laughs> it's a ghost. Let me know if you can hear me because I'm talking to myself, which is great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Caleb, what's up? I see you. Tony, zombie, offset maker lab. Uh, who we got? James, Real Sam Prentice, 3D Puck. I'm going to go with Puck. It's probably not Puke. Um, hopefully you guys can hear me. You can. Okay. Good, good, good. Chris, what's up? Uh, well, it's interesting. I was here just doing random stuff. And then I was like, you know what? I probably should get the stream up. So I just set it up and got walked away and... I didn't test. So there's that. What's up, everybody? I'm here today to do the this one right here. It's not an unboxing. It's not going to happen because it's already unboxed. Um, it's been an interesting day with Sovel. So a couple of us are doing streams today, which is totally cool with me. I think Nero jumped in there earlier before me. Uh, he did his like two hours ago, I believe. Um, and I think Joel, 3D Printing Nerd, is doing his in a couple hours. So uh they're they did unboxings they did setups uh or they're going to do setups or uh, nero did and i believe joel's going to get his out of the box mine's already been set up it's already been printing as you can see and we're just going to talk about it today um no setup no um you're not talking to yourself <laughs> i don't know maybe i missed something but i'm here i hear you caleb um Anyways, uh, no, I was here talking to myself. I, I was chatting you. That's what I was chatting you before. I filmed a quick interjection for a video I did, um, and I wanted to let you know that it was coming. But, um, yeah, it's SVO6 Plus. If you haven't already noticed, it is on sale. So check that out if you're interested. Um, I can tell you this. I'm going to start this stream off and spoil it right away because we have 34 people here, which, you know, it's the middle of the day. and it is what it is. But uh, this thing is literally every bit of the Sovel SVO6 plus. <laughs> um, I've loved it. I loved it. Uh, it. There's been some fun challenges in the beginning, and you'll see those um, coming up soon. I believe 
Uh, full video comes out Sunday, our actual first look video. Um, that's why it's unboxed and, and ready to go. Um, if you want to see an unboxing, I could play back that video. It's like 15 minutes, but that's boring. Uh, yes, the, I mean, it literally has been everything that SVO6 was, but more. They added some cool stuff to this thing. Yes, I know. Um, people are probably going to point out that it appears that my uh, spool holder is backwards. Maybe it is. Uh, according to the pictures I've seen, it is. Um, but I haven't had any issues, so there's that. Um, I like it backwards. I don't know. I, I like it this way better. What did I do here? Oh, I broke the uh, filament there. I'm, I'm using... This is super old filament, and I'm testing on this... Um, big stuff here with it, but, um, you know, it's 21.5. It is everything the SVO6 was and more. Uh, you add in the roller bearing, um, there we go, spool holder here. It has bearings in it now. Uh, obviously, it has the filament runout sensor. It's got the bigger bed, much bigger bed uh, with 300, 300 by 340, I believe. Um, it's got a, a little bit different of a hot end. Uh, they increased the melt zone and made a, a, a longer nozzle for it. Um, so they say it can go pretty quick, uh, bigger 500 watt, um, power supply. I believe it's 500 watt power supply and most of everything else is the same. I mean, it touch screen. Don't forget the touch screen too. So it, you know what? It's a SVO six plus. <laughs> Yes, I like it backwards. All right, let me go back and see what I missed here because I wasn't paying attention. Uh, oh, I see you, Pez, Pez Liz. What's up? Um, let's see. Happy Mardi Gras. All right, yeah, it's Fat Tuesday. I got my, uh, my what are they called, Puchkis? I think they're called Puchkis. Uh, my wife doesn't know I got them. I got them before I came over here, so I'm going to bring them over there and, and celebrate. Surprise, by the way. Dan, what's up? Just working and lurking. It's 9 a.m., Tyler said. Um, wondering why I'm not working today. Actually, I don't have a... I, I took the day off. I had a doctor's appointment. I had a physical, a doctor's appointment this morning, and I was like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to take the day off, and this was like months ago. And then uh, I knew that this was coming. Uh, Sobel told me that I could stream or put a video out on the 21st, and as we all know, I pretty much have streamed every Sobel I've got. So I said, screw it. I'm, I already have the day off. I'm going to stream on the day I'm already off from work. I don't get to do this during the week very often. So let's do it. Um, take off your shirt. Not going to happen. Uh, wait till we get to Murph for that. Um, Sam, how you doing, man? I, I'm down 15 pounds just about. Uh, just a heads up, Sam. I know mean, we were talking about getting healthier in the new year and all that stuff. So I'm going to, by Murph, I'm hoping to be down at least 30. At least 30. Um, let's see. It sounds like a good buy and you don't need a shovel. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, through, let's see. There are still printers other than the bamboo lab. Yes, there are. Yes, there are. Um, basically an Ender 5. No. Ender 5 would have, it'd be smaller and an Ender 5 would be a cube. So basically a Prusa MK3S uh, but much larger. That's what this is. Um, that's going to be pretty, uh, people are going to love or hate that comment, but they'll get over it. Um, Ender five is my favorite printer. Yes. I love, I, I love my Ender fives. I have a really cool project with an Ender five coming up. I have a box right down here. Um, and I can't wait to work on that. It's going to, it's going to change the Ender fives life. It's going to be awesome. Uh, cool machine. Might have to get it to add to the rotation. If you're looking for something large, um, I would check it out. Let's see. Colorado, what's up? Down 33. Nice work, Dan. Nice work. Um, Sam, you didn't comment how much, though. You said good, but not how much. How much? I know you were doing really good, too, Sam. Um, thank you. Thank you, Kobe. I appreciate that. I got a lot to go. I got a lot of way to go, but I'm doing it. Uh, yeah, Nick, I hope you like your Ender 3 S1 Pro. Eddie Money, it's a silver review day. Holy smokes, yes, it is, because they did their stuff yesterday, and they said most of us could do our stuff starting today. I want to see that six packets in the fridge. 
Um, I'm almost ready here. So we have seven pounds until awesome. That is phenomenal. Keep that up. It's going to be a rough week. Hey, 100 is amazing. That's awesome. Congratulations. And that is phenomenal. Uh, phenomenal, as Sam would say. Um, <laughs> I see what you're saying. What's up, Blasto? Yes, <laughs> Sam's been taking his uh, uh, shoes off during ways. Okay, so so here's the I'm going to pull up the uh, Soval site. So there is a link in the description. If you use that link and you're thinking about purchasing this printer, uh, use mine in the description below. It'll help the channel out. It, it is an affiliate link doesn't cost you anything else, but it really helps me out um, and, and the channel out. And I'm really hoping we don't have any crazy color stuff uh, today on the camera. Let me know if you guys see that because I'm, I might have to get a new ATEM Mini here. Um, here we go. I'm going to pull up the, I'm going to pull up the specs. I'm going to drop you guys down this way, share my screen, and let's look at some specs real quick um, because I, I think it's important um to to do that and i'm going to bring this like full size there we go so this is a pre-order it'll be shipping i don't know sometime soon um right now if you jump on this bandwagon um they already ran out of the 300 dollars ones i think they were 299 or 300 dollars. they sold those out in like an hour um right now at 329 this this monster uh is is a just it's a great deal um, 329, the, the Soval SVO6, uh, it is the best. Let me pop this down just for a second. I, I have to say this, the Soval SVO6 or the original one is the best, in my opinion, beginner's printer you can start with today, period. Uh, it comes with a ton of features. Uh, it does some amazing stuff and it is change my mind on this in the chat. It is the closest Prusa MK3S clone we've ever seen, and it prints very similarly. Um, you can argue that the companies are better or worse. You can argue that firmwares are better than worse, but I've seen a few videos. I don't have an MK3S, but I've seen a few comparison videos side by side, and it's super hard to tell the difference. If you don't believe me, jump into Maker's Muses, uh, Maker Muses, I can't even talk today. Um, channel. He just released his yesterday, I believe, was is the review on the SVO6. And he pretty much says the same thing. Uh, so so check out Angus's channel there. Um, let's see. What do we get? Bearded Blondie, thank you so much. One of my favorite tech dudes to watch. Hey, I really appreciate that. $10. You freaking rock, man. Thank you so much. Um, we got one in time for 300 bucks. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Woo! Tacos for you. Tacos for you. Thank you so much for the super chat. Um, let's see. Yes, the Starbucks earlier helped. I, I was talking to Sam uh, over via the internets, uh, talking to him actually in person uh, via chat, and uh, went to Starbucks with him in the car. It was funny. So, um, you know... I wouldn't be sad that you got the SVO6. That thing is solid. And honestly, how often do you print this big? That's that's the biggest question. I mean, I don't very often. But let's jump back into this. Uh, right now, 329 bucks. Use the if you're if you're considering it, use the link that's in the description below, um, and and it'll definitely help help the channel out. Hook a brother up. <laughs> I'll even um, let's see. Let me let me go back to my channel real quick and I'll grab my if I can if I can do this here. Um looking at everybody's videos today. All right. I'm gonna grab that link in a minute. We'll we'll go back to that. So here we go. Uh we have 329. We kind of go over this the the features and all that good stuff. Um, what's different between the SVO6 and the SVO6 Plus? Obviously, it's a 300 by 300 by 340 bed, which is bigger than the 220 by 220 by 250 bed. Um, yeah, XY a lot for sure. Um, 150 millimeters a second. Mm, 
if you use Sobel Slicer currently, you can you can go pretty quick. And we're going to start another print here in a few minutes. Uh, I want to show you a first layer going down and how fast that first layer is going down. It's pretty quick. I know people are going to speed this thing up. I know they're going to drop clipper on it and stuff. Whoa, 3D, 3D Puck for Sam and yours next coffee date. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. 10 bucks for a coffee date uh, with Sam. Also, um, let me let me do this real quick. Boom. There we go. And $2 from Hawk Cheese. Thank you for reviewing this. We'll catch it after work. Um, awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. And, and there you go. Boom. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate that. Um, and then we have another one, Zombie Hedgehog. Thank you so much. A buck forty nine for a super sticker. What's a super sticker? What's Maker Deck? I don't even know. <laughs> I had to. Um, but thank you guys. I, I really do. I really do appreciate that. It helps the channel out. And uh, if my colors keep going wonky, I'll have to be buying another A10 Mini anyway. All right, here we go. What do we got? Uh, 500 watt versus 360 watt power supply. I thought it was 350. I probably said that wrong in my video. But uh, filament runout sensor, auto bed leveling, and all the good stuff. So uh, something big that they did change, I wanted to come down. They made the, um, there we go. They made the, the melt zone larger on this one. So they say you'd be able to go a little bit faster and all that stuff. So you can see the difference here. So this this is the melt zone how much bigger it is 10 millimeters wider than the, the svo6 um obviously you have to use a different nozzle now but uh hopefully that helps out thank you so much k2 kevin so tempting yes uh it is it is tempting so you can print your chopstick holders um uh, lots of chopstick holders if you guys didn't know this does use a planetary direct drive extruder it's definitely different than what we've been seeing so it actually uses planetary gears uh to there's like some some super super gear ratios going on here it really pulls that filament through so another th another thing that uh they're doing on this they did this on the svo6 as well um so yeah i mean th that's some differences i don't want to spend too much time showing their screen uh, but it is a, a 4.3 inch touchscreen. Um, it responds pretty good. It's not the best thing I've ever used, but it's definitely not the worst thing I've ever used. And uh, you know, for for a printer that is going currently right now for 329, the touchscreen is is functioning good. We'll put it that way. Um, I'm just gonna jump in and grab that link for y'all, y'all. Let's see. Just in case you wanted to check it out, it is in the description of the video as well. And let me grab you. After the stream today, I'm changing some stuff out in the studio here. Luckily, because I have the day off and I have this um, awesome TV that sits right here. And a, a buddy of mine gave it to me and we thought it just had like a spot and he got a new one. And I was like, Psh, I can use that. And I got it and set it up. It is like super blue and I can't, it doesn't go away that this, the, you know, LEDs are messed up or something. And I can't like, I've reset it. I've changed it. I've dove into the forums and I can't change it. So this TV is going bye-bye and I'm going to put a different one, a, a little bit smaller one actually here. That'll actually look good. <laughs> yes, for sure. Um, so I dropped the link in there. If you want to check it out, this is, definitely um enticing especially if you need a larger machine and especially if you don't want to spend a ton of money um yeah difference between glue stick and liquid glue oh boy i don't know i don't know what you're referring to liquid glue as but um a glue stick i don't think i have one near me yeah it comes in a little stick uh you use Use it for all sorts of stuff. Most likely, if you were a kid, you played with a lot of glue sticks. And then you can uh, basically just spread a thin layer on. You I, you don't have to do that on this bed. Um, I haven't had any issue. This is a, a, a PEI sheet. I mean, I didn't take this off yet. So as you saw, that just popped right off. Um, I don't know why. So one thing I'm not a huge fan of is the Sobel Slicer. 
It's built off of Kira. And I just, I've been using Prusa Slicer and, and now Bamboo Studio for so long that I'm just not used to Kira anymore, um, unfortunately. But but it is faster. I need to, I need to work on my... Um, I need to work on my speeds in Prusa Slicer for this profile because I can say that the Sovel Slicer profile is much faster. Um, it's not a mean well. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's not a mean well, I don't believe. I'm sure Tim uh, over at TH3D is really good about getting upgrades for these things, and I'm sure he already has one. It's definitely not a mean well, but um, I don't think it says what it is. Might have to pull it apart to try to figure it out. But um, yeah, so this this vase here, um, to give you an idea, I mean, it's it's huge. Uh, I printed it with, I think, a 0 0.06, maybe. What was it, 0.6? Must be 0.6 walls. I'd have to go back and look. Super thick is what I'm trying to say. Um Came out really nice. Dennis Crawford, thank you so much for becoming a member. You you rock. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, it's not a mean well. Let's see. Liquid glue is something I first saw in Bamboo Store. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Magigoo for the win. So here's the deal. Um, I know they just put out. I forgot they just put out that. I don't know if it's any better or any worse than anything. I've never tested it. Personally, I prefer either... On the bamboo stuff, I prefer either the glue stick, and I kind of went away from that. And I'm a big, big fan of uh, the nanopolymer vision miner. This stuff is gold. It costs a little bit like gold as well. But um, nanopolymer, nanopolymer vision miner, super good stuff. You lay a thin layer down, you're good for, I mean, a good amount of prints, maybe like 10. And then you lay another thin coat down. Um, fun with filament. Thank you so much. A super chat for five dollars. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. Can't wait to use this Prusa like printer for the helmets. Yes, absolutely. So, this is what I use on this um, SVL6. You do not need that though. Um, the, the flexible PEI sheet works very well. Just keep it clean, um, clean it up really nice, and you're good. It's super satisfying with these bigger plates because you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> but this thing, it's a good size plate. Obviously, it's, you know, 300 by 300. Um, actually, I think the plate is 310 by 320 um, plate size. So, you know, the build area inside is, is 300 by 300. But, um, yeah, very nice plate so far. I, I printed a bunch of stuff on this thing. It works well. And I like that in the back here, um, I can get a camera. There's two, there's two bolts. Uh, the same thing on the SVO6. You can just drop your plate in to line them up and then let it go and it falls down right into place. I love that. Um, do I have an affiliate link for nanopolymer? I probably can get one. Actually, TH3D sells it. So I definitely have a affiliate link through TH3D. Um, if you go to their website, TH3D website, order anything you want and put this in as a code, T-E-O-T, -E oh shoot. T-E-O-T-5, I believe. There you go. T-E-O-T-5. Um, that'll save you like 5%, I believe. And it gives me credit as well. So jump into the T-H-3-D store. They sell the nanopolymer. Um, you can get it probably faster from them than you can from Vision Miner. And then you'll save some money too. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, K2 Kevin, I love your bed stop. That was awesome. Um, Wham Bam is great. You know what? Yeah, I I, I like Wham Bam stuff. I'm sure TH3D has some plates that will fit this. Um, you won't be disappointed. Let's see. I bought a Wham Bam plate, Amazon. Yes, you can definitely do that. Nano Palmer, Tyler West. I knew you were going to jump in on that. Um, printing on glass is okay. Uh, I per I don't prefer it as much as I prefer the flex sheets, but if you have a piece of straight glass, it's not bad at all. Um, sometimes it doesn't stick great. Some people love it. Some people hate it. My opinion is throw some Vision Miner on it and print on glass if you have glass. Otherwise, uh, I, I really like the flex plates. When they cool down, it just stuff just falls off of them. I love that. 
Um, and I love the texture as well. Um, just use the link and order one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Worthless. You're not worthless. Thank you so much for that. Um, can you oversize the print 305? I think so. Um, I believe you just need to tell your slicer to, to do that. I don't see why not. And you could actually, it might be firmware limited. I'd have to double check that, but it won't be long before there's several firmwares for this, just like the SVO six. And you can definitely do that. I mean, the, the, like I said, the bed itself is 310 by 320. I don't know if, you know, how much the actual print head limits that, but I know you can get some more of it. It's just like uh, an Ender 3. You know, it's three, they say it's 220 by 220, but you can really do three, uh, 235 on the Ender 3s, 235 by 235. Um, let's see. Yes, there you go. Not until it cools down. When it cools down, pops right off, right? Um, had uh, Always had trouble getting a stick. You have to have a great first layer. Um, so there's that. Let me get this thing plugged in. So shoot me questions. I know this is a little bit different of a stream than I normally do because I already had it unboxed and I don't, I mean, setup is crazy easy. You, you saw it. If you watch Nero stream, you're going to see it again today with a uh, 3d printing nerd. Um, but the setup is super easy. It's 12 total, uh, screws or bolts, whatever you want to call them. Um, you put the uprights on, you put the, uh, let's see put the uprights on, power supply on, you just clip the motherboard on the back here, or um, the front screen, and the filament holder. That's it. And it's super fast. I, lit, I was filming for a, a um, I was filming just to do a time lapse. So I did some film putting this thing together and that whole thing was 15 minutes. <laughs> so it was very fast. Um, Oh, wow. Yeah. And the uh, Kobe, absolutely. And that, that sucks because the X1 plates have the heater like pre attached to them. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, like this thing, I got to tell you, if you liked the SBO6, you're going to like this. Um, there is, there's been some issues. Uh, Sunday, Sunday morning, my video will come out uh, kind of a first look and, and a little more in depth. Um, and I'll show off some of the issues that I had on Sunday morning. But this is kind of a sneak peek to you, a sneak peek to you guys. This just finished um, today, this morning. So, you know, kind of get an idea there. And, um, like, I mean, obviously you saw scale, you know. We'll do this. This is, this is an Aria Dragon here. And that's this vase. So, <laughs> you can kind of see that Aria Dragon. I mean, it's... This thing is, are you dragging with flying? Apparently, um, it's nice and big. Um, I just bought an Ender Extender XL. That is a sick kit, though. If you get that thing dialed in, um, you want bed leveling for sure. <laughs> if you get the Ender Extender XL kit dialed in, that that's going to be a monster printer. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I got it powered up. Let's do I have power here? There we go. There we go. It's fired up. The other thing about this thing is it's quiet. I am so used to those bamboo lab printers and they are not quiet at all. Um, that, you know, this thing is actually very quiet. This old filament here is not my friend though. I wonder if I should turn that around. I wonder what really, how would that make any difference? I don't know. Whatever. I don't like it. Um, I don't want to turn it around. I like it backwards. We're gonna get this thing fired up and um, get a for, you know a print going. It appears that this filament broke off inside. Luckily, I can just turn that and get my little piece of filament out that was stuck straight in. Um, this this is like three year old filament at least, and it's been sitting out and just on a shelf. Uh, it's translucent blood red from Coex 3D. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get get this thing heated up so we can get some filament going. 
Uh, bed leveling is super easy. Um, I can walk through that if you want. I can show you that. Might as well. So it, it has a manual and an auto bed leveling. Um, it also has the auto Z. So you can tell it to come all the way up. It'll run into both the sides here and then make sure it's level. Something I've, uh, am, am, I don't think I have, I don't think I have anything. I should print blocks or bring soup cans. But I always want to make sure this is straight to start. And sometimes on the SV06, it wasn't. Um, I know ModBot had that issue too, where this was just a little bit off, no matter how many times he did that auto Z level. So what you do is you can throw like two soup cans or, or pop cans, whatever it is down under here, as long as they're the same size and run your bed down into it and it'll level everything out. And then pretty much from there, you're good. A Sunloo, <laughs> a Sunloo filler dryer. I have a few dryers. I'm, I don't know. I've never dried PLA before. Let me know if you've dried PLA before. I haven't. Um, but I appreciate that if you checked out the link. So this is going to come down. It's going to home, do its thing. And then it's going to ask me if I want to do automatic or manual leveling. I'll just run it through the auto leveling sequence quick. Um, something you'll notice is that the, the flex plate has a bunch of squares on it. And it actually levels in those squares. So that's kind of cool. I mean... Just for grins, it actually helps. Interesting. I've I've literally never, never leveled uh, or never dried um, PLA before. I don't know why. Maybe I should. Maybe I should start. Let's see if this works. It does. Yes, he does. Oh, what was that noise? I just kicked. I kicked the failed print behind me here. Um, I also use that slice engineering dryer can. Th those are pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we're rocking. Uh, I mean, any questions you guys have, I've been using this for a while. So I, they sent it to me like maybe a month and a half ago. Um, so I've been using it for a while. It is heating up currently, so it can do its thing. I'm gonna grab my water. I got the uh, bubbly water. It's fancy for water. <laughs> yeah, silicon thingy. <laughs> Andrew asks, what's up? Fast fiber internet. Nice. That's awesome, man. Um, the, you know what's funny is I don't have fiber here. Although I know it's on the street in front of me, I should see how much it is because technically this is a business building. So I have no idea what they'll charge me, but I should see how much it is to bring it in. But I do have fiber at my house, which used to be where I was in the garage. And I and it's super cheap, like 50 bucks a month for 300 by, you know, 300 up, 300 down fiber. It's pretty nice. Oops. <laughs> That's not good. Oh, yeah. You got a high humidity. You definitely want to keep stuff dry. Excuse me, dry. Wow. Um, pop, equal, pop is greater than soda. Yes. Changed my mind. I grew up in Wyoming. It was pop. I'm here in Wisconsin, and it's soda. So there's that. Uh, have I tried ABS or nylon? Not on this machine. Um, what's the maximum reasonable print speed? That's a great question. So I have not uh, pushed this thing like super, you know, super limits or anything like that. Um, I, I can tell you that the Sobel Slicer profile isn't bad. This thing is just waiting for the bed to heat up a little bit more. So it does, just so you guys know, it does heat up uh, 120 on the nozzle and 60 on the bed to do the bed leveling. Um, I could probably turn this a little more this way and give you guys a shot of the touch screen. There we go. 
kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can get you even closer. There we go. Um, so you can kind of see it's doing its heat up thing, kind of giving you a progress. Uh, it's almost there. And then we'll start the bed leveling here. I'll kind of give you a shot of both of those so you can see what that's like. There you go. So it'll start doing the bed leveling now. It'll start in this corner and do all the quadrants. And if you see on the screen over here, there's a little like spaceship dude. And he jumps into each square. If I can get it way down in there. There you go. He jumps into each square that it's leveling. So that's kind of fun. Kind of gives you a progress. And it's pretty quick. I wouldn't say this is very slow. I've seen some much slower bed leveling than this. Um, as far as speed goes, though, I'm not sure. They say 150 millimeters a second. I can tell you with the Sobel Slicer, I have not put those settings into my, my uh, Prusa Slicer yet. But with Sobel Slicer, it's much faster. I'm going to show you here in a second. Uh, first, uh, first layer going down. And it's, it's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Oh, nice, Andrew S. Pop in Canada. Good. Both soda pop. Okay. Okay. Pop uh, in New York. Good. Yeah. So in the South, uh, in, in I believe everything's Coke. That's a thing here. It's like we're going to have some Coke. What kind? Sprite. I don't know. I mean, that's that's weird to me, but. Uh, James, do you prefer induction style probe versus uh, BLS? Yes. I, I don't know. I don't know if it makes that much of a difference to me. I've always really liked the TH3D Easy ABLs. Uh, you go back to my very beginning videos and you can find me installing those. I really like those. Don't get me wrong. I have machines with BL touches or CR touches on them and they're fine too. Um, a, I'm not an expert, but I feel like these are probably more, you, you know, um, they're probably better. <laughs> but I, again, I'm not an expert, so I have no idea. Um, so I can do an auto Z line here so you can see that. So I just hit this button. I'm actually going to do this so you guys can see that. So what that's going to do now, probably shouldn't move it, but I'm going to. What that's going to do is it'll bring the um, gantry, the X gantry, all the way to the top and like ram it into the top. I mean, it's just like Prusa does pretty much. Um, yeah, I don't really have a, I don't have a preference. Uh, I really, I, I like the, the easy ABLs um, that Tim did because I, I think they were good. They were very, they could make them very fast uh, and they were pretty, pretty accurate as well. It's interesting that Sobel went that direction. Um, you know, they're using parts from a company that they're kind of an offshoot of um, called Creality. And um, I'm, I'm, you know, kind of surprised they went that direction with these instead of the CR touches. But I like these. They're fast, as you saw, and they rock and roll. Dan, thank you so much. I appreciate that, Dan. Um, so here, I, I, wanna, I want you to hear this. Not sure if you could hear that or not, but it it runs it up into the top and make sure it's level, and then it'll auto auto home itself and go back down. So there is one thing. If there was one picky thing I could pick out right away, is that I noticed. I don't believe. Yeah, I don't believe that the top of the lead screws are in a free floating bearing. Um. I would have rather seen that on these machines because you know how hard it is to get straight lead screws, especially this tall. If you have one that's not exactly straight, it's forced to stay in here because it's mounted in the top and the bottom. And sometimes you can get that translates into the print. Um, yes. So I, I would have liked to seen floating bearings up here just in case this was a little bit off. But I know it's hard to do because if this is too off and you're riding on this rail, that's going to cause issues as well. Um, but I, I really like to see a floating bearing in there just in case it has a little bit of wobble. Um, other than that, you know, it rock and rolls. 
Oh, better not put it right there. I almost put my, I almost put this water right behind where the bed's going to come back and knock it off my table. So now it's done with the auto Z align as well. I'm going to spin this thing around. Um, let's load some filament in here. There we go. Love easy ABL. Good. How's it going, Dan? Yes. Okay. So you can do a Z offset in here as well. Um, oh, let's see. Where are we at here? So I'm going to bring this filament down. And I might flip this thing around. I did notice that theirs is the other way around here, but I feel like that would put the filament sensor backwards. And I just don't, whatever. I don't, I don't know if it makes that big of a difference. I'm keeping it this way. Um, I did not cut this. I should have probably cut it, but yeah. Give me one second. It's super easy to load. Pull your little lever here and load it. So let me know in the comment, do you have an SVO6 uh, and do you like it? Don't break it again. <laughs> there we go. That should be loaded. We're good. Yeah, let me know, do you have an SVO6 and do you like it? Do you think the SVO6 Plus is a good thing? Um, honestly, I don't know why another company that's much larger than this didn't do that. Um, how do I say this? I don't know why another company that's larger than this didn't do this printer already. <laughs> Does that make sense? Are we reading between the lines here? I know a lot of people would bought it if they did. Um, so we're heating up to uh, 185. I did notice when I sliced this, I'm going to have to fix that. When I sliced this in Sobel Slicer, it was set like at 185 for PLA, which I'm not good with. This is a uh, coax filament. And if you've ever printed with coax filament, I'll do this until it's ready. If you've ever printed with Coex 3D Filament, great company. They're here in Wisconsin. They're actually, what I just saw recently is they're going to change or testing out cardboard spools so it'll fit in the Bamboo Lab AMS. Debate for a different day, but that's pretty awesome that they're responding like that. Uh, but you've got to burn it hot, like 220, 225 for PLA, uh, for Coex. Live stream to Bamboo Lab X1. I did, I think. Pretty sure I did. Um, yes, it's okay. The thing, the thing jams badly if you run out of filament because there's no sensor. Ah, yes. Also, some X access issues. The heat break was leaking, and I had to fix that. Um, what's up? What's up, Matt's makerspace? So um, the X access issues are fixed by. I'm assuming you mean because they're they're still not straight. So. We talked about that a little bit ago. Make get two soup cans, or uh, if if uh oh Jesus, hang on, I hear grinding. No, I didn't mean to set that, and there's no way to stop it. I hit the wrong button. I hit the filament change button, not the Z. Yeah, that's just a little bit too low on the Z here. Um, I did not mean to do that. I hit the filament change button, not the uh, Z offset button. All right. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Continue. Suck your filament back in. There we go. Try that again. Um, but if K2 releases those blocks, you can do that. But to take two soup cans, put one on each side of your hot end, and bring your gantry down on top of them. That will most likely level it out, and it, you probably won't have to do that again unless you move it and grab it or something like that. One, two, three blocks, that works too if you have them. Um, what is my favorite 3D printer? Man, that's a loaded question on a live stream for Sovol. <laughs> um, I'm going to have to say this. So I'm going to resume printing here. And I got to... 
I just got to change my Z offset here really quick here. So we want to go positive, 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 positive. There we go. I should have done the, I probably should have done the Z offset when we re-leveled, huh? But I didn't, so there's that. Um, yeah, we should be good there. Let's see how that works. So, anyways, um, yeah, favorite 3D printer. That's kind of a tricky question. Witness, yes, witnesses. I should have, uh, I should have Z offset after I did the um, initial, um, that or that re leveling, but you know I didn't. So there's that. So I want to show you this though. This is the first layer going down. And with my polar Z offset choices, it's not going down too bad here. Let's see. That's one thing I wish that you could do is C under this hot end, but you can't. So there, um, let me get a little light. We can fix this. Let me get a little light for you. No, oh, that is not it. Here, light, light, light. Where did I put you in the dark? <laughs> ah, this will work. I'll be okay. Um, that's actually a pretty decent, pretty good first layer there. Get some light going here for you. Is that better? That's better. I wonder if this will work. <laughs> it's going to wobble all day, but I'll be okay. Um, yeah, you can kind of see the first layer going down. It is, it could be better, but it's rocking and rolling. Um, it is running at the default speed in the Sovel, uh, slicer, whatever that is. I don't know what that is, but it has a lot of, uh, walls for some weird reason. And the first layer is not terrible at all. But I just wanted to give you an idea of, of speed. Um, all that good stuff. Let's see. Man, I don't have room for another printer. <laughs> uh, you can make room. You can make room. I'll send out the bat signal. Yes, do it. If we get some purge ball, I'll, I'll show them. I'm wondering. So there's a... Let's see if I go like this. You can kind of see me up in the corner here. I'm gonna I'm gonna flip this thing around and see if it makes any difference. But it's super loose up here. Um, what I'm referring to is your filament runout sensor. It's pretty loose. It's not like getting stuck or anything. So I just wanted to make sure there's that. Um, and then as far as this print goes, you can see it's rocking and rolling pretty good. Layers are going down nice. I probably need to redo the Z offset because I, <laughs> I, I did all that leveling and it didn't. So I just did it on the fly, but I'll be okay with it. Um, let's see. Late again. Well, welcome. Welcome anyway. Welcome anyway. Um, what's the print speed? I'm going to have to look. I don't know what the default is. It's whatever the Sovol Slicer default is. But I can tell you this, it's much faster than my Prusa Slicer profile, so i got to bring those sp speeds over. Um, let's see. Have you been having any issues with the Bamboo Lab? And if so, what's the most reoccurring one? Not really. Um, I use those printers the most. They are my go-tos. I have four. Actually, I just got two more, so I have six. But right now I have four set up because I didn't set up the other two yet. Um, for a big project, I got two more. And I haven't had issues. Uh, now, don't get me wrong. You got to do your maintenance. I just did that video on maintenance. Keep that up. Um, maybe a, like, I'm, one of the things I just printed, I had a spool that it was a cardboard spool and I didn't have rings on it. And it was at the end of the spool. So it was like pulling it up. Didn't like that. Um, other than that, not a big deal. Let's see. 
You didn't miss much fun. I already had it unboxed. It was already printing and ready to go or ready to print and all that stuff. So you really didn't miss much. Um, changed out the to a 5015 solution. It helps see the nozzle better on the SV06. Oh, nice. Not a bad idea. That design kind of looks janky up there. Oh, you mean uh, you're talking about the filament runout sensor? It kind of swivels all over the world. And I don't know, I haven't had any real issues. I think the only big issue I had was I had some really old Arion rainbow filament and the diameter I think sucked and it wasn't going through the, the run out sensor very well. Um, the video was great. Thank you, Eddie. They advertise 115 uh, up to 150 millimeters. I'm sorry, 150 millimeters for speed. Yes, they do. Um, this thing's rocking. I mean, it's printed pretty dang good. I can do a close up if you want to see a close up of this vase. Let me do that. While it's printing, I might as well. Are you going to do a review video for the P1P? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Do I need to? I mean, that's that's a good question. Do I do you, do I need to? Uh, Ingus just put his out. Makers Muse just put out his yesterday. Pretty much calls out all the stuff. Uncle Jesse just did his, or no? Ingus just did the SVO six. Uncle Jesse just put his out like yesterday, day before. Um. Yes, I I like that idea. I love this. It's kind of fun to watch, and it's one of those things where you can kind of watch it all day. So what's interesting is I am kind of – let me go back here. This is your filament runout sensor up here, and it is – it does kind of get in this weird position where it's angled, and it, it's harder to pull your filament through. So I'm going to um, – I don't know. I might have to see if turning that thing around were I mean, if I look at the, let me go back to that I'm jumping all over the place here, but um, let's do this. If I look at the SV06 plus age, I think the, I think their filaments sensor goes the other way. It does go the other way. Maybe that will make a difference. I don't really know that it would, though. I'll try it. Maybe I'll try it. Um, yeah, I, I definitely... It just looks so loose. Uh, it's free-floating. It's definitely free-floating most of the time. I'm going to... I think, for argument's sake, I'll turn it around. I don't want to, but it's not a big deal. It's two screws. I mean, I could probably do it right now while it's printing, and it probably won't hurt anything. So first layers are done. Um, I mean, I have some pictures of this thing laying down some first layers that I was just like, whoa, these things look nice. I can pull those up too, but any questions? I mean, like we really didn't do an unboxing today because I already had it unboxed, but it's, it's so easy to set up. And Joel, uh, Joel telling 3d printing nerd is going to be doing his live stream here in a couple hours. Um, and, and you definitely are going to see him unbox it and set it up. Uh, hopefully he has a great experience with it like I have and many and a couple of other ones. Um, hey, Jimmy Miller, thank you. I hope you, I hope you used my link. <laughs> Use the link. Use the link. Um, so here's the deal. This is, if I can get some good light, this is a GoPro, so it's not exactly great camera here. But... Oh, and, of course, the light is not helping me either, but it, it came out really well. Nice and thick. Um, looks great. I'm going to use this for, like, a little mini trash can going forward. Maybe if I can reopen this tripod up. There we go. That red is nice. Yeah, so that red is um, translucent. I believe it's translucent blood red. Translucent Blood Red PLA Prime from Coex 3D. 
Oh, Joel just went live? What time is it? 1, 11, 12, 1. Yeah, so it would be about time for him to go live. I forgot he's going around, He's going live at 11 o'clock his time. He must have went a little bit early. But, yep, he, he's live. So, yeah, I mean, if you want to see an unboxing and stuff, maybe uh, we should shut this down and jump over there. That would be cool. Um, does this have the same part cooling as the SVO6? Uh, yes, I believe it's the same hot end, except for the throat. Uh, I'm sorry, for the um, part that they made bigger. Um, other than that, everything's pretty much the same. The PEI sheet is the same, just larger, I believe. Um, I think it's about time to, that I grab a printer. Do it. I'm telling you, if, if it's this one or the SBO6, it doesn't matter. You're going to be happy with both. If you're, if you're looking for an introductory low-cost printer to get into 3D printing or you're looking to go bigger and you don't want to spend a lot of money, there's not much better. The only thing I wish is it was 400 tall. I mean, it's 340 tall, so I wish it was a little bit bigger, but I like it. Nice. James, that's cool. Hot end is different. Got the itch. There you go. Um, yeah, I, I mean, they did change, like I said, that area. Uh, I, I showed it earlier. They made um, basically the area inside of here they made it longer so that the the nozzles that's going to be another thing you can't use a regular old nozzle you got to get the longer ones now as well but honestly for 329 dollars um 329 dollars this printer you know it's it's very controversial but this should have been a prusa printer in my opinion uh, I, I really like my mini. I really like the company. I met Joseph a few times. Super cool dude. But he should have done this. <laughs> and Soval did it. So there you go. Volcano, yep. Yeah. A studio tour. Oh, boy. That means I have to clean. <laughs> we might be able to do that, though. I am going to re be rearranging um, today, or probably today here. I'm cleaning up and rearranging some stuff and getting rid of a bunch of printers and stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, kind of making room, getting everything reset up. So I might do a studio tour soon. That'd be cool. Um, I'm going to do this. I've been uh, live for almost an hour. I didn't unbox. It was already done. I can tell you it's really easy to unbox it. It's super easy to put together. Um, it prints... Very nice. I mean, this, I, I can't even show you. Actually, I can show you. Maybe. Let's see if you can see how nice this first layer went, with the exception of where I was trying to dial it in there in the center. Everything else is gorgeous. It's a nice first layer. Issues here, I was trying to fix it while it was going. Um. And I can pull up some other ones. Hey, Offset Maker Lake, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. I hope uh, you love yours. I hope you love your SVO6 as well because I know you have one of those. And I can't wait to see the cool stuff you're doing. You're, you're, you guys are doing some awesome stuff. Um, so thank you so much for that. Real quick, I got I to gotta show you this here. This is... Um, I want to, this photo here, it's going to show you the importance of the right temperature. So what I did was, um, what I did, I started this thing out and then this is where I realized that on the left side, way over here, um, I realized that it was at 185. And that's not hot enough for PLA, especially coax PLA. I bumped it up to 220, and look at these first. Look at this first layer. Let me know what you think of that. I I think that was one of the best first layer. This is a the second print or third print, I think second print. I can't remember on this printer. 
Um, first one I used Sovol Slicer for. This is a good, yes, it is very, very good beginner printer. If you don't need this big of a printer, I suggest just the SV06. Um, because just the SV06 will do everything this one does except the filament runout sensor. But from what I understand, they're they're going to release the filament runout sensor and I think the spool holder with the bearing in it to be put on an SV06. So you can plug it right in. It's the I think it's the same board. You can plug it in and it'll work. Um, so there's that. Thank you so much again, Offset Maker Lab. Um, yeah, I finally got Clipper um, and SV06 can fly. I don't doubt that. Uh, I, I've been seeing that in the in the groups and they're definitely flying. So yeah, yeah. So. The SV06, it's, it's ready to go. I believe they're going to sell the runout sensor, and I think it's this. I think it's going to be the whole spool holder. Don't don't quote me on that. And then you'll be able to uh, print. Um, you'll be able to print just like this one. It'll and and the SV06 really does need that filament runout sensor. Yeah, the sale will go on for a while. And if, if it's any. If you watch the sales of the SV06, they kept doing sales a bunch. So it's definitely something to think about. I just noticed this thing pulling. Every time it goes this way, it pulls. So maybe it is that sensor. Or maybe it is because it's backwards. I'm not sure. I might flip it. But I have an old Prusa 3 clone looking to see how much better it is. I'm guessing, I'm guessing it's going to be much better with the new board. 32-bit board, silent. As you can hear... I'm right next to this thing, and the loudest thing I hear is probably maybe the hot end fan. I'm guessing that's it. Uh, they ship April for the first 300, I believe so. Um, yeah, it's a pre-order, so jump in now. You'll get it here in a couple months probably, a month or two. Um, don't quote me on that either because they, they didn't tell me how fast they're shipping, but... Uh, but yeah, this thing rock and rolls. I, I really like how it rolls. I really like watching this. Um, I've seen people replace that with uh, different ones or putting a little, like like someone said earlier, a little hypnotized uh, thing on there so you can see it spinning and all that. But you can see it's actually moving pretty good. It's it's pretty fast for, you know, for a printer like this. And you throw a clipper or, or even bump up the speeds, it's going to rock and roll. Um how does this sensor work? I've had filament did not come off the spool, so it just stops. I've had filament that did not come off the spool. Oh, like it got stuck, I'm guessing? That I don't think will stop it. I believe it's an optical sensor. If I'm, I have to go into it and find out. Um, I believe it's optical. There's a little green light. As soon as I cut, we could test that. Why not? We're about ready to be done, so you guys can go check out Joel's stream. But um, let's do this. I will cut, if I can see it, the filament, just like that. Of course, holding on to one end, always. You guys did not see that, did you? Hang on. There we go. So I cut the filament. It's just barely sticking out up here. I pulled the uh, f spool off, always holding on to your spool and the end of your filament. You never want to let go because that's how tangles happen. So there we go. I just took my uh, filament out, and it's just pulling the last bit through here. And as soon as it sees, there we go. As soon as it got through, it yelled at us, like, immediately. And it says, oh, you can see the print. It's moving. It raised itself up. And it says, click yes. To heat the head and change the filament, no to stop the print. So it yells at it like this, saying, Hey, you're out of filament here, and we're good. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn this thing around. Um, any last questions before we get rolling? I'm gonna get off here. Joel is on. Uh, I know he's gonna be putting his together, so you probably want to watch that. Um, I appreciate everybody who showed up today, and and I just want to thank you for everybody who donated today. Um if you're thinking about getting one of these, 
please check out my link in the description. Um, it really helps the channel out anytime you use that to buy any of the printers. I have SVO6 links. I have SVO6 Plus links and, and many more. So I really appreciate that. Um, I'm betting optical. I'm pretty sure it's optical, yeah. I'm going to flip this thing around and put it in the quote-unquote right way. Did I ever mention how much I love T-handles? Yeah, I think I say that every stream. But I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to flip the spool holder around the correct way, not the incorrect way. So spool holder is supposed to sit this way on the printer. If I can hold on, <laughs> would not be a project if I wasn't dropping stuff. All right. Good catching you. Have a great day. Thank you so much, Kyle. I appreciate that. Again, thank you, everybody. I appreciate you guys. I would uh, I would check out Joel's stream. He's going to be putting his together. It doesn't take long to put together, so depending on how long he talks, uh, before he starts, it might not take long if you want to see the actual build. Um, so that is something cool. I'm convinced, pro streamer. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about that. Um, I'm I'm confused on how this spool holder goes backwards like this, but we're going to find out in a second. Um, but yeah, he's putting his together. Uh, I didn't look at where he's in his stream. It's lost his nut. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. But thank you so much, uh, Dan, for posting that. Thank you, everybody else, for coming. Um, so I now have this in the way they say to go in. Where's the arrow, though? Oh, it goes that way. Okay, okay. Like that. Let's see if this is any better. Before, it was kind of getting stuck. And I never noticed it until I was standing here the whole time watching this thing. Pro streamer. Hey, I want to see those blocks, K2 Kevin. I want to see those blocks come out so I can use it to, uh, you know, straighten out my gantry here. All right. So this is interesting, huh? This doesn't make any sense to me. Maybe I'm just stupid. <laughs> but why? Why would I do it like this? Unless it goes behind, that wouldn't make sense either, right? It wouldn't make sense to go behind the gantry. There's a little arrow that goes that way. I don't think this makes sense to me, but we're gonna see. It pulls off the side of the spool then. I don't know. I'm going to have to check out their pictures again. Uh, actually, their book is probably right here somewhere. Um, boo, boo, boo. Where did I put you, book? Here we go. SVO6+. Plus. It does show it that way. Interesting. Um, yeah, it does show it. What's, what's really weird to me, so cool, so cool. All right, I got to show you this real quick. I thought I was losing my mind. I put this thing together in the front of the page. You can see front of the machine. It goes that way, right? I see what's going on now. I have the spool holder backwards if I flip that around, right? But it does go this way. In the manual goes this way. See the S is for Sovel? It comes off this way. Am I crazy? Or are they showing... Uh, am I crazy or are they showing this going this way here? There's the S for Sovel coming out towards the S and this going backwards. The other way. <laughs> so who's right? I don't know who's right. But I can tell you I see what's going on here. I, I can see why this wouldn't work because my spool holder is on backwards now that I flipped it around. But I'll fix that real quick. It's just a quick. 
change. And of course, I forgot to change camera. There you go. I just changed it facing forward. Throw this on. Filaments cut. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to pop this out. I'm going to pop this new one in and let's see what it does. But all right. I'm about just like a minute here from going. I don't know. I'll, I'll look at that picture again to see if it is from the back. I don't feel like it was. Oh, I might have to cut this. All right, let's see what happens. I don't know if it's really loaded or not, but we'll see in a second if anything's coming out. Nah. I didn't put it down far enough in there. Now it's mad at me. <laughs> oh, let's see. It's just going to print in the air, but that's okay. There we go. I didn't get it down there far enough the first time. All right. Anyways, I'm not sure. I'll look at that manual again. Maybe it's from the back. I don't think it's from the back of the printer, though. Well, maybe it is because it does say Sovol on the back of the, uh, the top there. Um, cool. Well, thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. <laughs> That looks just so wrong now. Yeah, it's interesting, right? It does feel better, though. I don't really know if it matters. That's the big question. We'll find out. Um, look at the lead screws. Oh, picture in a picture in a picture. Yeah, you're probably right. Joel's peeping, maybe. All right, guys. Uh, Joel's rocking and rolling on his stream. Go see how it's built over there. I wish I could send you over there. I'm in StreamYard, and I didn't set up in YouTube to push people because I don't do that very often. But go check out Joel's stream. Um, I will even I will even do this for you. Well, you guys know where to find him. I'm going to get you the link just for the heck of it. So you can click on it. Go straight over to Joel's stream. Um, it looks like he's got his out of the box. We could just sit here and like commentary on Joel's stream. That would be fun. Um, <laughs> there you go. That'll get you to Joel's stream. You guys have a great day. I really appreciate you being here. Uh, thank you guys so much for checking out the Sobol SVO6 with me. Uh, great printer. If you like the SVO or SVO6 Plus, if you like the SVO6, you're going to like this one too. Same thing, just bigger. Obviously, some new features, and definitely those features make a difference. So, you guys rock. Thank you so much. Everybody who showed up, everybody who donated and take a little bit of time out of your day to be here. Uh, we will see you again soon. Sunday, uh, my video on this will be live at 9 a.m. Central. So check out that video as well. And uh, everybody else, you guys rock. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you later. Have a great week. Bye.